what's going on everybody this is on hopper tv hotels coming to you from the sheraton here in san jose see there you've got the casino next door and the lobby here for the hotel so we'll just uh go in hold on sir So they have a rooftop here with the pool. Just have this nice lobby, the bar. Such a nice hotel, huh? I'm also gonna go up to the lounge, show you my room. Again, this is the Sheraton San Jose. What do they got here? A restaurant. We'll try to experience the casino at some point, but this is where they do the lunch, the breakfast. Very nice. Okay, so I've got a Brazilian steak coming, medium well, thanks to Jose who works here. He's taking amazing care of me, such a professional. And here's the beef. All right, here's a look at the second level. I mean the mezzanine. Might as well call it a second level because there is no second level here. But as you know, a mezzanine is the level in between the floors. And yeah, you can see if you just look right over here, the lobby. They have some nice chairs here, outdoor area. Looks like this is like a conference center maybe. They do some sort of meetings in those rooms. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's the Sheraton Club here. So it's the seventh level. We'll check it out and see what they got. All right, very friendly staff here. We've got. Let's see, is there any food? Nope. I think that's just breakfast. Let's see what they got. Okay, so there's no snacks right now. Oh, very few drinks. We got a little meeting room area. That's nice. And here we are at the eighth level here. almost there. Now let's go take a look at the pool. Is it heated? No, but it's not cold. It's pretty nice temperature. It's not heated, but it's bubbling. Oh man, that music. Rocking it. Beautiful views to San, uh, San Jose, huh? It's like an atrium in here. Got a bar. Hola, hello. All right. Well, we'll keep looking. All right. Here's a look at the room here. They're actually calling this an upgrade. Um, although it looks basically just like the room that I booked so not sure how I got the name upgrade and the reason they would upgrade me is because my status is titanium elite but um, either way it's a nice comfortable room for one night got the intercontinental right there beautiful day very windy though 
Very windy. Let's see what they got for the snack bar, mini bar, some water. What do they got in here? Two ropes. Okay. All right. Okay, now for my final review of the Sheraton San Jose. It's probably one of the best hotels I've stayed at in San Jose. I did stay at a Hilton Doubletree Cariari uh, before. That was an older property. It was really nice. Uh, more classic San Jose, Costa Rica style. This one's more modern. Uh, I felt as though it was a place for business. Um, if you want to do meetings, this is probably where you're going to want to be. They have that conference center. They also have the casino nearby. I went inside the casino. I can film in there because it is a casino. You can't actually film in there. Um, I found it to be nice. It was small, but they had all the cool machines. It was Vegas style. Um, I don't know if I saw too many table games, at least not when I was in there or craps or anything. The food was pretty good. Um, that steak was delicious. Like I said, uh, Jose did a great job. I actually liked the lobby bar. I found that to be a nice experience always. Um, I sat down on the sofa there at the bar, in the bar area, I should say. I also sat at the bar. I found everyone who works there to be very professional um, at the bar area. There's some intimidating, uh, like, <laughs> security guards around there. I get it. They got to do their job, but they're kind of intimidating even towards guests, um, the way they, like, approach and stuff. But they're just doing their job. They got to do that, you know. Uh, overall, I would say that this was a very nice hotel. Um, I would stay here again. Um, the price was around $250 a night. I did not use the pool, although I probably should have. I just didn't have time. I was so busy with work. The overall experience for the location, it's off the freeway, but there's nothing really around there. So keep in mind, the location isn't going to be convenient if you're trying to do nightlife or anything like that. Most of the nightlife is going to happen there on the property. Uh, overall, I would say I probably rate this a 4.7 by uh, world standards by San Jose standards. I give it a 4.8. Um, I didn't stay at any other like high end hotels. I stayed at the Marriott Loft. Uh, that was also nice. I'll be making a review of that next. Um, but I went all around Costa Rica. The best hotel I probably stayed at was Planet Hollywood. But my favorite hotel, if you're talking like experience and true Costa Rica, was in uh, Playa Islita. I'll put a link to that at the end screen also. That was a Marriott. So see you guys on the next one. Uh, I'm in Panama City now. Thank you.